In a land that celebrates the rights of women, where the constitution entrenches the freedom of the feminine, poets of South Africa speak out about a woman's duty and responsibility, about growing up at the cattle post, and about courage and determination. Writers dedicate poetry to mothers, to dancers, and lovers, and to achieving the dreams and aspirations of all women throughout our country. Musadi ke motho wa botlhokwa ka molapeng eh mosadi wa nyake ga ka molapeng ka gore ge e se mma ke sesi goba ke 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 eh kuku goba ke kuku khulu mosadi wa nyake ga gore a khone eh go fa di advice mo basadi ba ba latelang yena eh mosadi o tshwara thipa ka bogaleng go ra gore le ka molapeng ge ya ga ga ena le mathata o khona wa the best. endurance. Which means Sanja la tadi khonye ala te metsi ka bo fo ya frogo tshanja a enele monna wa gage dikoba ko re ibile a dira ka le thabo a se gore wa gapeletsega ko re wa tseba gore ke nthwe ke di juti tsa gage as mosadi ke yona nthwe e dirang gore re na ba pedi ba ba hanano re bitse mosadi mosadi sadi ka gore eh o khonne go tsea di responsibilities tsa gage a thabile a sa bontshe gore o kwatile a a I want to worry. Can you take these are my duties, and I'll take them in my stride. Rena, go. Kokoming, go one sheet of Ruba, Mosadi, and now we Rubita Rice, the Kerr Rorette, or one shower, can netre, retabile, remoto Kawena, Hone or Tabisha Gamola Beng, Hono Tabisha Labeng, Labubet, Mobato, Batrojang, Kamarati, Babona or Ganeti, and Mosado would issue to a family ya letabo, a family ya lerato, a family ya luka, or our Ojia, the qualities to not you, Adisha Moban. So, Musadi would talk about a generation so that culture, the tradition, the Hona was no fellela, Mohara, the generation, Kebu Raisi, Bao, Kasarish, Naki Mohanan. Mara, 
re throwe line re tsebe gore a wa mo mosadi ya tsene re skatla ra ranya ka go swapha di role le banna ra ba rena re reng re nya kwa para marogo a wa re sa le basadi ke rena re sana le ndipopelo ke rena re sa tlotlishang bana mo lefaseng le a re ba direleng good example re re basadi re na le dipopelo tse leng gore ditlo tshara le fase we are the women we represent the world with our wombs Oh, what a beautiful mind. Not so intelligent, but wise. Do not mistake her goodness for weakness. She is a woman of rhythm and song. She says that she hates blind faith and that the sun is her god. She stands tall as turbines on wise men's head, whom she gives her advices to in parables. Her nature is kind, humble, and wise. The love that she dishes out is wholesome and soulful just like the food she prepares. She's peaceful. She has made peace with pain. She has to. She's strong and forgiving today because of pain. She's good indeed, but not pure. Feminine, oh for sure. She thrives on emotions and is easily attached for she will one day in her wholeness carry the next Azanian generation. She is a she, a female, teacher, ebony queen. When pregnant, she's full like the moon and complete like number eight, guaranteed to deliver infinity to humankind. She is a life giver, a Nubian mother. She is the Omega Balance. Life is breathed through her, seeds are grown in her, they will prosper in her care. She will die peacefully, but her legendary ways will live on. She is the woman with a womb that represents the world. Embrace her, woman, womb, world. Tsatsi la bo mmela bo di tshaba tshaba. Ke le bokole ke le kwadileng ka ntla gore go goleng gane. Ke go ditswe ke basadi ba golo mosadi mogolo motsa la mme le mme. Ke ne ke disadi khomo go mo rakeng kwa ke gona le bontsa la ke ba ba shimane. Ke ira sengwe le sengwe se ba se dirang. Ke le mosimane ela ka mantswama. Ke ka mo ene nya re ha ke gola ka gola ke bona ke gagametse tlhalogane. Me na go tse o ne ke tiki tiki re bantsho tla kana go direga jalo. Ene e tle re na go tse dingwe ha go le motse gare re be re itsa pa go go ja di joko gae. Re itirela se re le sa mashe a pudi le ditholwana. Ko masimo ene e tle re na go tse dingwe ha re le mo masimo ke be ke nna mo tla se ga se tlhare se sengwe sa mo robe se ke neng ke rata go nna mo tla se ga mo tla se. na mokgwa wa me wa poko e ke bokang ka yona ke maikutlo a tlang gore ke be ke ikutlwa jang ka seng se sa beng se direga ka nako e e bile poko ya me ga se nang le moribo ka gore nako tse dingwe ha maikutlo a tla mo go wena ga ona nako ya go dira moribo le go khabisa ha gore o le lewa lela ha gore o letse mogolo kwa ne ha o khala wa khala e bile go tshana le ha o rotloetsa wa rotloetsa poko ke maikutlo a tlang gore tota le badimo ba gago ha ba bua lo yena ka se o ba bua lo yena ka sone ba tla jang mo go yena le gore ikutlwa jang na go e na ke rutloetsa batho gore ba nne bone go se nne le sepese se ba hetolang gore se o leng sone o bo se hetogela gore nna ga ke tlhole ke le eng ke batla go nna e o nne wena go tsogotloga mo tlhagong ya gago e bile bogolo ja mbasadi ke rata go ba rotloetsa gore ba sika ikobonya gore ba emeka dinao mo go sengwe le sengwe gore o sikwe ipolela gore ke mosadi ganga ke ka gona go ira serre ya sirang leka o tshwanetse gore o leke go tswelela pele le botshe
Ik was bijna jong toen ik ma geschreven het. Ik was 15 of 16 jaar oud. Ik was een moeilijke tiener. Ik had vreselijk bekleid met mijn ma. Mijn ma was ook een schrijver. Zo so ons het nog bekleid over letterkunde ook. Eén, maar dan was ons verschrikkelijk nabij aan elkaar. Dus so dat was de hele tijd hier die dubbele verhouding wat jij aan die ene kant vreselijk intensely lief was voor iemand. En aan die andere kant verschrikkelijk intens agressief was tegen oor jou ma. En dan natuurlijk bij je spijt oor die zo so ongeschikt en zo so meurig en zo so akelig gekind is. Mijn ma zei altijd: om te schrijven is genetisch. Jij erf om te schrijven oor, soos mens oor erf om muziek te maken. Je krijgt families als die pa kan zijn, kan die ma sing en die kinders sing. En zij zei, schrijf is ook zo. Dus dit loopt in jouw bloed, dus in jouw aarde. Je wordt groot in een familie wat mensen met taal kan werken. Mensen vertellen stories, hulle, hulle oe zien dingen wat andere mensen niet zien. Nie. En hulle, hulle verbindenis tussen hulle oe en hulle tong is dadelijk daar. Als hulle iets zien, dan het hulle dadelijk die woord recht om om, om, om weer te geven. Zo so in daar op zich. Ik mijn mama niet geleerd, niet zei dat mij met die met die bloed ingegeven, maar mijn maat baie gelees. Ze so daar was boekrakken vol boeken in ons huis. En ik kon enig iets lezen. Ik mag enig iets gelezen. Dat is nooit gezegd. Je moet niet dit lezen of hier die boeken niet verkennen. Ja, ik moet zeker eens baie verstom met die pad van die gedag. Die gedag het binnen een paar jaar. En dit betekent, het was min, bij 1970 is dit gepubliceerd. Binnen een paar jaar was dit voorgeschreven omtrent landswijd voor kunstwedstrijden. Dit is een gedicht wat mij verbijsterd het met die aanklank wat hij vindt bij allemaal. Want ik heb zo so gedacht, ik schrijf niet voor mijn ma. Dus so het is eindelijk wonderlijk en bevreemdend om achter te komen, zoveel andere mensen zien hulle eie ma staan. Wat eigenlijk niet bevestigt die ding van poëzie, hoe, hoe unieker jij dit maakt, hoe meer universeel wordt het eindelijk. Het is voor mij moeilijk om die, om die schooldochter van Kroonstad te wees, hier waar ik nou is. Want het is een jong stem, so ek, het voelt mij altijd, ik kan niet eindelijk meer die gedicht met integriteit lees nie. So, dit is eindelijk een gedicht wat hoort bij een baie jonger, uh, zachter en onzekerder stem als een oude vrouw, oude vrouw zoals ik. Ma, ik schrijf jou een gedicht. Zonder fancy leestekens, 
zonder woorde wat ruim, zonder bijwoorde. Niet zonder een kalfvoet gedig. Want je maakt mij groot in jouw krom klein handjes. Je beitel mij met jouw zwart oe en spits woorde. Je draai jouw lijkklipkop, je lach en breek mij tenten op. Maar je offer mij elke aand voor jouw jere God. Jouw moesie oor is mijn enigste telefoon. Jouw huis mijn enigste bijbel. Jouw naam, mijn breekwater in je leven. Het is zo so jammer, mama. Dat ik niet is wat ik graag voor jou wil wees nie. Dancing was written with a group of other poems, a um, group that became my third book, if I remember. And as usual with me, it was a mixture of political work and personal poems, satires, etc. But dancing itself, I think, was based on real women, on relationships I had had or was having with dancers. So I guess reality intrudes in terms of, of the people behind the, the, three, the three kinds of dancers. But what I was trying to do was write a love poem that at the same time wasn't about me, the male, the male narrator. I was trying to get a situation where I was talking about women that had been important in my life. But the images that are used all, I suppose, take you away slightly from, from the dancers. I suppose, um, they draw attention to the fact that all three women are there with their dancers to disturb you. It's not simply about making you feel comfortable. The dancers are disturbing. Uh, the words like clocks of misrule, birth, trying to look at a moon after the moon has already gone down. This is all about yearning. This is about effort. This is about not doing what other people expect you to do. And I really am placing that in the characters of the three women each in turn in, in different ways and show how they have a life apart from the peaceful park, apart from the husband and, and children in the second one and apart from the seemingly comfortable bourgeois uh, reality of ballet in the third one. Once I've done that I bring it back, I, I talk about their unity, a possible unity of art, a unity of women perhaps and draw it back to the male narrator of the poem and in case you haven't got it, I make it doubly clear in the last lines that um, this is really a, a, an ironic poem from the male. The male is feeling dissented by these women and is, I suppose, accepting the fact that he is dissented by their ability, by their character, by their personalities. Dancing. All the women that I know are dancers and have been, through no fault of mine. There's one. Give her a peaceful park at noon, watered with dogs and statues, and a sun that makes shadow out of wind, and she will stamp her feet, click her fingers once, tease arms into writhing calligraphy, and castanet everything to a time of disorder, when clocks of misrule burp tiny blows. Another sinews her back towards the back of her heels and kicks off to swim without a snorkel just above the earth's crust, leaving behind husbands and babies to yearn after her, but stay rooted in their one aspect, like seaweed, until she stops and her body becomes a desperate flapping silver leotard, caught only recently and still gleaming. The third does not notice whether concentrates on her posture uncoiling slim out of the tulle and forget-me-nots of those who admire her with slack jaws. She glowers at horizons, shakes her head to remove dank droplets of applause, rises on point to see whether the moon goes down after the moon goes down, wishes the night more vast. When no one is looking, dogs howl, fish gasp, there is no moon, the three finally link arms, and with stuttering feet begin to stalk a language of grace, speed, hunger, they can all decipher, whirl around, around on their way, 
wishing to lose no single step. I am not the centre of this circle. Utabaso <laughs> Lipupo, ngipupa si paga paga, ngipupa inza ba imana ngai sonze langa gimi, ngipupa ngikota neti luane tasende, ngipupa imvula ina kutoa imifula ne mifula ne, ngibona magelo tini lelo ne manda, yebo lelo lipupo lamngeva, ngilele ngibona si vesinga namlendo wenguela, ngibona iminde ni lenga kakuba tegi. Nipupa iminde ni lene mbilo leti nile. Nipupa sive le singa na titara miva. Nibona ema jelo la lushata. Nipupa nibona inala ita eveni. Kutoto anke tinzanzane. Nibona titelo ne tishata tasende. Masibambi sane sibone lupupo luami. Lolo msigati lo tinile lo son pegile na lo ne manja. <tipa> 